at this point technically i have done quite a few room makeovers i use the term lightly because i live in a single room there is a spot or two that has been sight unseen so this is the full tour so when you first enter my apartment you're in the kitchen therefore the first thing that you see is the refrigerator since i live in a studio i'm all about saving space therefore the spices are magnetized and thankfully i do have a lot of storage in this apartment so above the refrigerator is where i keep file folders for mail and important papers and where i keep all of my cords if the cord is not already homed with the item itself then that plug is in this box and i've even labeled them then to your immediate right is actually another door which we're just going to skip for now if you've seen my kitchenware tour then i've already shown pretty much all of the cabinets however there are just a few that i haven't taking a peek into those quickly to the right of my stove this houses my foldable tray and some cleaning products as well as my rolling cart which i bought predominantly for groceries without having to carry things on my shoulder however i had some very specific requirements because i don't have a broom closet so at the time I couldn't have anything that just stood up because I didn't want to take up floor space and I wanted to be able to tuck it away. Therefore, this was that solution. And honestly, it was worth every penny. And then lastly, there's the one drawer that doesn't actually have any kitchen tools in it because it contains my actual tools. You know, your standard hammer, screwdriver, and then the same type of box that I keep for my cords, some additional home items like a laser level, utility knife, stuff like that. And then again, just a brief overview because all of the details you've already seen in my kitchen makeover. So if you want to see how I made this cafe menu or how I added the backsplash, I'll link that video down below. Then as we come into the main room is my kind of getting ready station. Basically when I did the bedroom makeover, I was so obsessed with the color in the magazines that I put on the bench that I chose that same blood orange as the accent color in this area. I bought this locker and while I thought that it was too much at first, it's really grown on me. And in here is where I keep some of my camera equipment like tripod, sewing kit, and a sanitation station a chair and underneath that is a vintage metal box that i thrifted and i keep additional tools in including an electric drill i also have a quintessential step ladder which is needed for every small space and then atop the mantle is this marble tray where i usually throw my keys as well as some vintage bottles that i thrifted i have kind of an obsession with containers they're great to propagate in and speaking of propagations this is one that i potted along with some sage and palo santo that I bought when I first moved into this apartment to cleanse this space. And actually tucked into the fireplace, I have this rolling cart, which I basically use as a caddy for when I'm filming or cleaning my apartment. And yes, buying this color was completely strategic so that it would just blend into the background. In fact, you probably didn't even immediately notice that there are things on the second shelf because those are also all matte black. And then actually going back to the entry area, this is also where I will sit and put on my shoes. Therefore, directly across from it in the living space is where I keep this shoe rack. And again, the details are in the dedicated makeover video. So that's why I'm just kind of giving you guys a brief overview and not really going into that much detail unless I haven't talked about it before. So looking at the whole room, this is how I divided up the space into my living area and bedroom by basically mirroring each space across from each other. So the couch faces one wall and then the bed faces the opposing wall. It's basically so that I can use this wall to project movies on since you've probably noticed that I don't have a TV. And my projector actually has a four hour lifespan. So if I don't want to, I don't need to plug it up. However, I do like to also connect my fire stick so that I have access to even more apps and movies. So again, the great thing about this is that it's actually portable. So not only does it not always have to be sitting out, but if I want to, I can actually take it on the go and go watch movies outside if I wanted to. In fact, that's a good idea. Maybe me and the fiance need to have a like picnic where we also watch movies. And what I didn't mention in the living room makeover is that why I picked this couch is additional storage, which you can purchase this as a plane seat. This is just an alternative option where I keep like fabric and additional bedding. And it even turns into a bed. <clears throat> so if I ever had any guests or friends, this is where they would sleep. Speaking of sleep, in my bedroom is also my office because the bedroom is more so a corner. It just happens to also extend into this wall where I keep my desk. As you can see, we are as organized as we possibly can be because when you're living in a studio apartment, you really have no other choice. You gotta have it together. Everything needs to have a home and a place so that it can return there. And if you saw my office makeover, then you also know that I DIY'd this calendar. I have a queen size Murphy bed. And what I love about this model is that it's literally just the basics. So you get the frame and that is it. You don't have to worry about the cost of cabinetry. So you save a lot of money. But if you do want to camouflage it, great thing is that you could fully customize it. 
and I also DIY'd my bench slash nightstand, which also usually has some plants that are sunbathing. Speaking of plants, the last part of the main area is my little green corner. And while there were other things I definitely could have done with this little nook, I just thought that it might be nice that if I wanted to, I can pull over my chair and read a book, prop my feet up, get comfortable and be one with nature, which unfortunately doesn't happen. I ain't never got time for that. So to make room for my plants, I actually bought this shelf system, which you're supposed to use in your bathroom. I just thought that it would be perfect for this while still taking up as little floor space as possible, because remember that's important. And because I actually don't get a ton of light throughout the entire day, I even got this lamp which is clamped to the mantle and has a grow light inside of it. For those of you who saw my apartment updates video, you know that I made this plant stand. So again, if you haven't seen the playlist, make sure you check it out just because I have a lot of information there. All of the projects, all of the resources, so that if you want to institute any of these things into your space, you can easily do that. I also have some greenery between the kitchen and living rooms so I also have a grow light in this area which leads us back to the door to the walk-in closet. I did manage to find what can only be described as the perfect vacuum for this space because it fits into this very small nook and cranny under the light switch. Couldn't have been any more perfect. And in here I also keep my folding table just because I don't have anywhere else to put it but it is what it is. And a majority of this space I also don't even use for clothes. So in my bottom drawer is where I have like some of my gadgets, like my iron, steamer. And then above that, with the addition of some foam inserts, I've created a space for all of my camera equipment. I also keep my nail supplies in one of these drawers as well. And then if we leave here and go back to the kitchen, that final door is the bathroom. Where not a whole lot has changed here. I just added these metal suction hooks. I put this black double hook directly on the shower so that I would have some place that I could easily access my towel. I also added that little art print that I painted to update the color. And then I even added another hook, but this time in white, so that I would have space for a hand towel. Not much different going on with the sink either. I just kind of simplified it a little bit. And then above my washer and dryer, I just have some wicker baskets to keep my washcloths and towels because the cabinets above are completely consumed by the giant bowl that I bought for fabric dyeing. Previously in my plant corner were these uh, crates that I thrifted. I decided to put them in the back so that there would just be some juxtaposition to balance out all of the modernness of it all. And that is my full apartment tour. If you guys have any questions, of course, feel free to put them down below. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.